was a nice shot, Jake. Now I'm a little worried because I don't exactly know where I am. I might be lost. I will update you once I figure out where I am. Uh, Jake? What's going on? Logan, I'm glad you came. I've been preparing, Logan. I've been preparing. Preparing for what? Winter's coming. And with winter, it means cold and snow. We had it easy, Logan. We had it so easy in the summer. We thought the warmth would last. I saw it coming. Jake, I saw it coming too. Winter happens every year. I just didn't think it would happen this year. I didn't think it would happen the year of the box for it. Logan, if we're not ready to survive in the winter, we won't last. That's why I'm out here. I'm conditioning my body for the cold. I need to be able to survive in sub-degree temperatures without the use of a coat. Jake, it's freezing out here. You're gonna get sick. That might be the case. But the fans want us to do another Woods Box Fort. They want a Woods Box Fort survival in the winter. Do you know how cold that will be? Do you know how hard that will be in two feet of snow? I can't wear Yeezys in snow. I don't even know what you wear in snow. Now that you mention it, Box Fort survival challenges in the winter is gonna be very hard. Which is why we need to train. We need to prepare to survive in the winter. We need to know that we can go out there and survive 24 hours in the woods in this cold. Logan, I've already assembled the gear downstairs. We're going out today. Can we just go out tomorrow? Tomorrow? There might be two feet of snow on the ground. So now that we're ready to head out into the woods and start surviving by building our woods base, we've got all of our gear lined out that we're gonna bring with us. We got a bunch of flashlights. We also have some kindling to start our fire. We've got a net here to camouflage our base as well as a shower so that we can stay clean. Cause we're making this, you know, not just a survival base in the woods. It's gotta be a little luxurious. On top of that, we've got our MREs, our classic food that go anywhere with us and all we need is some water to cook them. Now that we got this all ready, we're gonna pack up our bag and start heading out to the woods. And we gotta make our shelter ready for the night or else we're not gonna be able to survive. Just made it to the woods. We have our location in mind where we're gonna be building our base camp for the night. The sun is already going down and it's already really cold. So we gotta get our shelter built quick. We're gonna be building in the same location that we chose for our last build during the summer. A lot has changed though because it's so cold. We've had a lot of storms. Everything's all over the place. So we kind of have to figure out exactly where it was. It's back in there. We're gonna start hiking down the creek and try and find this. All right, we gotta cross this creek bed to get to the other side. We got so much gear though. It's really bogging us down. If we can get over there and not get wet, that'll be a win. It, home sweet home. This is where we're gonna be building our fall survival shelter. I think the last time we were here was like three months ago and all the leaves were green. It just looks completely different. But not only were the leaves green, but it was a lot warmer. Luckily, we don't have to worry too much about the bugs this time. As you guys remember, we had spiders, we had mosquitoes, and just lots of creepy crawlers everywhere. Now we don't have that, but we've got our other enemy, the cold. Ayo, what's going on guys? It's Papa Jake here from Team Biffany, and we are back with a brand new video, and today we're doing a video. You guys have all been requesting ever since the summer. You guys want us to come back and do another 24 hour woods survival box for challenge. And that's what we're doing, we're here. We're getting ready for the winter, and obviously guys, Guys, we want to do the granddaddy of all survival challenges to survive in a box fort during the winter here in the woods but in order to do that got to start small you know we got to we got to work our way up so we came here in the fall as you guys can see it is completely fall all the trees are down the leaves are down it's cold I got gloves on <sighs> can't really see my breath but trust me it's cold and we're gonna be building our box fort base here and surviving in the woods for the next 24 hours for you guys so in order to do that guys we've got to get started by building up our base as well as getting the basic necessities we need food we need water and we need warmth slash shelter. So the box forts are actually pretty warm. I'm not too concerned about it getting too cold in the fort. What I am concerned about is it getting way too dark too quickly. Also, last time we were here, we saw a lot of coyotes, which really got us scared. So we got to make sure that we figured out a way to build some sort of weapon to defend ourselves against those during the nighttime. Other than that, guys, the sun's going down. It's getting colder every minute that goes by. I think we have to start building and get our shelter ready for the night. Oh, and by the way, guys, we are thinking about doing a really awesome Papa Jake Christmas giveaway where we get back to all you guys for being the most savage viewers on YouTube always liking the video always sharing the video so I wanted to know before we go out and buy a bunch of stuff to give away to you guys what do you want let me know down below in the comment section do you guys want Xboxes do you guys want PS4s I don't know so let me know down below what your preferred item is to give away of course guys with any one of our giveaways in any one of our videos if you guys don't want to miss out on them make sure you smack that bell button so you never miss a brand new video all right Jake we got to get this thing built it's getting cold <laughs> 
All right, guys, check it out. We just finished putting on the roof. This thing looks so sick. Look at this. We've got our door here on the side. We've got a nice little mat here that we can walk on so we don't track any dirt inside. So now that this is done, we do have to deck out the inside and make it look really awesome inside with all of our lighting and all of our other gear so we can actually, well, sleep and survive and have food in there. But before we do that, there's a few things we need to do. We need to make some weapons for tonight because like we said, guys, there are coyotes in these woods and we need to make sure that we are safe if we encounter any. I'm thinking I'm gonna try and make a slingshot. I brought some elastic bands as well as some other stuff to help me make it. So we have to go out and see if we can't find some wood that kind of resembles a slingshot. And if we can get that together, hopefully it works. We might need to do some target practice. If you guys remember, we've got this really nice rock here and this is where we can put our fire to keep us warm during the night. You know what? Let's do the camo now and then I'll go out and find my slingshot. All right. It's camo netting time, guys. Check this out. This thing is sweet. Not sure how big it's gonna be, but either way, guys, we wanna kinda cover this with some leaves and some other things to not only make it more insulated, but to also make it very, like, secure so that no one can actually find us during the night. Well, that's a start. Definitely adds a little bit of camouflage. We're for sure gonna need to add some leaves to this as well as some logs to really kinda blend it in. But for now, it looks pretty awesome, guys. So let's keep adding on. All right, guys, check out just how awesome this looks. We went ahead and we completely canvassed the entire fort in a bunch of trees, a bunch of wood, as well as a bunch of like sticks and twigs and extra leaves on top. This is not only gonna make it so that our fort is very secure and hard to find in the woods, but it's also gonna make it so that it's even warmer and more secure against things like rain and wind because this thing is reinforced not only with cardboard, not only with our camo netting, but also with leaves, sticks. I mean, it's, it's a legitimate shelter at this point. So it's looking awesome. Awesome. It's coming along great. We still got to go inside and deck out the inside make sure it's all warm and cozy in there But before we get to that I'm gonna go now and I'm gonna try and find my slingshot as well as some items to make a spear I also have to collect firewood for tonight, which is on the list of things to do. The sun's going down. It's getting cold We got a lot of stuff to do. We gotta get started for the slingshot. I've got this this is basically just kind of the remnants of an old slingshot that I found. It's the elastic as well as the cuff kind of part here that will actually hold like a rock or a stone. So to turn this into a real slingshot, I need a piece of wood that looks like a slingshot, some tape, and then I need some bullets, which in this case will be little bits of rock. Once I've got all of that, I'm gonna set up a cardboard piece because I wanna make sure that I'm accurate. I wanna make sure that I've got my shots on point. So we will do a little bit of target practice. As for the spear, all I need is a long piece of wood that I can kind of whittle into a spear and then reinforce it with some tape. And then we'll have two weapons to survive the night with. The only thing I don't think we're gonna have time for tonight is gonna be the shower, but that's okay. Cause I wasn't gonna take a shower tonight. I was gonna wait till tomorrow morning to take our shower because we need to heat up the water on our camping stove. So that's like warm. You know, we're in the freezing cold here. So we, we definitely don't want to be taking a shower in freezing cold water because the cold is one of our biggest adversaries in this build. With that being said, I think I'll wait till tomorrow to build that. But if I do have some extra time, I might try and make a box fort outhouse for us. So, you know, we have a place to do what nature calls for you to do at night. I'm currently scouting for a piece of wood that looks like a slingshot. The terrain that I'm having to deal with here isn't really the greatest, but I'm hoping that I can find some kind of like old driftwood over here that'll really help us. Definitely should have brought a flashlight. It's getting darker by the second out here. And if I don't have a flashlight, it's gonna be very hard to find my way back. So I definitely can't spend too much time out here searching. Now I'm a little worried because I don't exactly know where I am. I might be lost. I will update you once I figure out where I am. I still have no idea where I am. I cannot find Logan. Uh, I think the fort is back this way, but look what I just found. I may have just found the scariest tunnel in the woods. I thought we found scary tunnels when we were searching for the rake. Still no, no wood that looks like a slingshot yet. So I'm gonna keep searching. I'm not gonna panic yet. Panicking is the worst thing you can do. I'm just gonna go the direction I think I need to go and hopefully I find Logan. Found this open area here. Our fort should be somewhere back here. So I'm gonna go back and get a flashlight this time and also stay a lot closer because I was starting to get scared. I know it didn't look like I was getting scared, but I was getting scared. Look what I just found. A little dark to see, but that is gonna be our slingshot. I just got home. You probably can barely see me. It's so dark out. I took a little bit of a spill in the water and actually got my feet completely soaked and now they're just numb. I can't even feel my feet right now, but I was able to find her slingshot. So I'm gonna bring that inside and work it on the inside. Oh, also guys, I went ahead and I started a little bit of a bundle here for our fire for tonight. I've got a little fire starting kit inside the base. So I'll bring that out and start the fire a little bit later, but I think we're gonna get inside, start working on our weapons and then it's almost time for dinner. All right, Logan, let's see what you've done in here. Oh dude, it's pitch black now. Yeah, dude. Here. A lot cozier than out there. 
I'm still working on the edges, but as you can see, I finished most of them. Not, not, done, not yet. done yet. It's so warm in here though, and I feel so safe, especially knowing that this place is covered with leaves as well as wood. Like I just feel safe in here. So we're still gonna go outside. We're still gonna have the fire, but before we do that, I gotta work on the slingshot, and I also gotta work on Logan's spear. Well, this is half the spear. The other half's over there. So we're gonna get that started as well as dinner, and then we're just gonna bunker down for the night. There we go guys, attach the slingshot to our awesome piece of wood that I found. I also went ahead and taped the bottom for a nice grip. And now all we need is a few stones and bam. All right guys, and last but not least, got Logan's spear here, got a nice grip, long extension. No coyotes are getting in here tonight. So we've now been lying here for like, 30 minutes we are exhausted we built the whole base as you guys saw decked out everything i did basically get lost in the woods in order to find a slingshot and we know we need to eat we know we need to make a fire because we gotta survive here tonight i mean we only have what we brought at this point so we're gonna uh, lie here recoup a little bit and then i think we're gonna start getting dinner ready i'm honestly ready for bed but we still got some stuff to do well we've been chilling for a little while now regaining some of our strength i'm getting hungry so i think it's time to eat we brought some of our classic mres if you guys are new to the channel you've never seen us eat these before these are really cool they're entire meals that come in this package uh for example this is spaghetti and meatballs and all you need is a little bit of water from our canteen here and this will cook as hot as if it's in a real oven and it comes with dessert it comes with like a beverage mix coffee napkins everything you need it's really cool they're military rations so we're gonna open up these see what we get for tonight's dinner I also brought some glow sticks for some extra light so I think I'm gonna crack these open now so you know we got a nice little candle at dinner by glow stick in the middle of the woods <laughs> All right guys, so I opened up the first one here and as you can see, we got our spaghetti and meatballs, which is in this pack. We've got a cracker, which is always good. You know when your cracker comes in a vacuum sealed container that can last 25 years, you know it's gonna be a good cracker. Uh, on top of that, we have Gatorade, gravy and potatoes. Interesting, not sure if I'm gonna have that. It's a bit weird. Uh, this is cheese sauce for the cracker. Spoon with uh, pepper, wet nap, salt, napkin. Uh, a little bit of hot sauce, always need that. Ooh, some pound cake. Uh, and then this is the main thing that we use to actually cook these things. This is the heater. And all you need to do is pour a little bit of water in here and it's gonna heat up to the temperature of an oven. Then we're gonna stick this outside and let our food cook for about 10 minutes and then we're ready to eat. So while it's cooking, I think I'll go set up the fire, but let's get these assembled and put these outside. So while our food's cooking outside, before we get to the fire, I thought we'd have some of the snacks that came with it. So like I said, we've got these crackers. I mean, they're, they're literally solid, but that's okay because it's survival and every little bit of food we have is very important. We've had a long day of hiking, building a shelter. We got to make sure that we keep eating. We got to make sure that we keep hydrated. So the cool thing about this is it'll last like 25 years. I'll pick peanut butter because I'm a little bit grossed out about cheese whiz on a cracker uh, that came from a bag. Oh no, <laughs> the cracker is very brittle. It's super dry. There we go. That's a massive chunk of peanut butter. It's a little gross, but I mean, I could be even much worse surviving in the woods. Considering that, it's pretty darn good. But it's so dry. We're gonna have dessert before we have our dinner, which in this case is a vacuum sealed cookie. Now, I know what you're thinking, Papa Jake, you're eating your dinner in reverse. That's true. I mean, it does take 20 minutes for those things to cook outside. Let's see, we got a chocolate chip cookie in here. Let's see how this looks. For something that's supposed to last 25 years, it looks pretty good. I'm assuming it's not nice and warm and uh, it tastes really good. All right guys, so I came outside the fort. It is very cold out here. We want to kind of get warmed up a little bit. We're gonna create a fire. It, we only need it for a little bit of time just to kind of take the chill out of the air and warm ourselves up. As you guys know, my feet are still numb from falling in the water. I really should have brought more layers because it got cold at night. We made a little fire pit here out of some stones. Hopefully this thing lights. I did bring a fire starter kit, which has kind of like some nice dry kind of kindling, but we're just trying to get a little bit of heat to warm up and the, the wood is just so wet out here. It's been raining for days on end. Just that little bit of heat takes the chill out of the bones. Got the fire going here. Gonna try and warm up a little bit, take that chill out of the air. And then once we're done here, we're gonna go back inside and have our dinner. Having a fire like this is so important to stay warm and just to kind of get the chill out of the air. Like in the summer survival box for it, we kind of made it, you know, kind of for fun to have some warmth at night, but also to, uh, to kind of make like a nice atmosphere with the box for it. Now that we're getting closer and closer to our winter survival box for it, this is just all the more of a necessity for us. If we didn't have this fire right now, 
I would not have been able to get the numbness out of the tips of my fingers and my feet. I remember guys, if you want us to keep going, if you guys want us to do this, but in the heart of winter when there's like two to four feet of snow, smack that like button down below. We just got back in from our fire. We're all warmed up now. Now it's time to eat our dinner. These have been cooking outside for a little while. So we've got our vegetable taco pasta or spaghetti with beef sauce. Logan, mm, which one do you want? Spaghetti with beef sauce. All right, here you go, man. I'm gonna dive into this, guys. It's our dinner for the night. This is really good, guys. Mine's got like some beans in it, some nice pasta. I know what you're thinking. Baba Jake, you're eating something that's in a container that's supposed to last 25 years. It came in a bag and it looks like this. But honestly, guys, in the middle of the woods, in a box for it, in the freezing cold, I don't mind. This tastes like heaven. All right, guys, I got spaghetti and beef. Let's give it a go. Yep, beef, beef and spaghetti. I'm not gonna give it a 10 out of 10, but it's pretty good. Just finished dinner and tonight for blankets we have two of these survive that's gonna be Jake and I. <laughs> yeah. We're just gonna cozy up in our survival blanket. But no, we got two survival blankets. It's actually just one big blanket. Actually? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was two survival blankets because I saw two people and then I read the package and it's it's just one big blanket. Hey, I mean it's better than nothing. And guys, we actually started using survival blankets because they're a lot easier to lug around than like big sleeping bags and they're extremely warm. Alright guys, got Logan over here. Got our survival blanket. It's already starting to heat up. The really cool thing about a survival blanket is it basically reflects all of your heat back at you and doesn't let any escape. So I know it looks thin, I know it looks small, but this thing is already starting to get toasty. It's been an extremely long day. We built the fort, we made dinner, we made a fire, we made weapons. I think it's time to turn off the lights and get to bed in our 24 hour fall wood survival challenge. See you in the morning. Another lit day. What's up everyone? We just woke up. It was so cold last night. As far as the night went, I would say it went pretty well. We didn't have any issues with like coyotes or anything like that. It wasn't too bad. I kept waking up a bunch during the build of the night. Ugh, mainly just because it was so cold. At one point I was like, I think I should make another fire. And then I was like, at that point it would it would just be way too freezing. So definitely going forward, if we're gonna be doing this in the winter survival, I think two things. We need to bring more coats and jackets sleeping bags sleeping bags for sure and i think we need some way to like heat this or insulate this a little bit more oh, it's a new day uh, let's go see what it looks like we gotta turn on all the lights i think we'll try and maybe make some some coffee as well i'm uh i'm gonna get the lights turned on we're gonna go outside we're gonna kind of scout out see what it looks like and then i think we need to start making a fire to kind of warm up because i am chilled to the bone right now our fort's looking pretty good everything kind of held up during the night so didn't have any big issues uh let's go outside and check out what it looks like on the outside oh that is bright that is very bright all right let's head out oh that is pretty crazy that we slept here didn't really get a good look at it last night because when we were working on it it was almost pitch black so now to actually see it in daylight it's really cool didn't hear anything in the night looks like some of these leaves and six kind of got folded over a little bit but at the end of the day waking up to this is totally worth it get the coffee on so bright <laughs> it is yeah, we didn't have any issues with like the, the roof caving in or anything like that. We're gonna get a fire going because it's absolutely freezing out here. We want to get some coffee made. So we can kind of warm up, you know, get the chill out of the air. I made this cool kind of like makeshift holder for the kettle. Basically, we're gonna fill our kettle up with some water that we brought and we're gonna hang it on here over the fire until it boils. Once we got some boiling water, we have some instant coffee from our MREs that we can put in our water bottles and we got some nice, fresh, warm morning coffee. Alright guys, got the fire going, warming up here. Definitely need this on a cold morning after a long night in the woods. Like we said last night guys, it just takes the chill out of the air, warms us up. So we're gonna make some coffee. I've got ourselves a little camping pot here, which we're gonna go ahead and put our water in. So I'm gonna put it in here. We only need about one water bottle full to make uh, two cups of coffee. We're gonna hang it up here and wait for it to boil. Once it starts boiling guys, we're gonna put our instant coffee in it, fill up our water bottles. We've got some nice warm coffee to warm us up on this awesome morning. Looks like the water is starting to boil here, so I'm gonna take our pot of water off, and now we're basically gonna put our instant coffee in here and make our coffee. Whew, it's a bit hot, but that's what you want with uh, some nice fresh coffee. There we go. Now, we've got some awesome morning coffee. Nothing like chilling by a nice fire, warm cup of coffee in the morning out in the wilderness. That's good, that's really good. 
So that was awesome. We finished up breakfast. We had our coffee. I'm feeling a lot warmer. You know, we had a fire, got warmed up. So now I think it's time to try some target practice. You guys saw we made our homemade weapons. Logan has his homemade spear, but we still want to touch up on our skills and just see how good we are with the weapons. So we're going to set up a target over there and we're going to stand back a little bit and shoot at it with the slingshot. You know, maybe throw the spear at it and have a little friendly competition to see who's best. <laughs> All right, I've got all of our ammo here in the form of pebbles. Let's set the target and see who's the best shot. We got our makeshift slingshot here. As you guys saw, this is a piece of wood that I found yesterday. Now we're gonna grab one of these pebbles and see how we do. I think we'll do three shots each and then we'll compare scores. Oh, all right, all right. It was the first shot, a little low, but Bad. yeah, I'm gonna adjust it. At least it hit the target. Oh, dude, that was so close to a bullseye. Shot number three. It's gonna be hard for Logan to follow. Oh, oh close that one. Damage. All right, all three were on target and one very close to bullseye. Let's see how Logan does. Ooh, all right, all right. So first shot very went exactly. To mine. I know, yeah. like exactly where mine went. Oh, that was that a nice is, shot, that Jake. That was a very nice that shot. That was dope, guys. Oh, I don't know what that means. Oh. I think we need to each take one more shot and winner takes all. Beat that, Jake. All Beat right. that. Looks like I'm up, guys. Here we go. I need a prime pebble. Papa Jake's been holding out on you guys. I'm actually a slingshot master. Dude, I gave it too much power and it went so too fun. high. Oh, Papa Jake is a spear throwing master. I got them spear skills. Just like straight out of a video game. Here we go. <laughs> it was a very unaerodynamic spear and it was more for poking than throwing, but anyway, pretty much sums up our spear throwing skills. I think this finally wraps up our 24 hour survival in the wilderness during fall, during the season, right before winter. As you guys know, we are getting ready for the winter survival challenge. So if you guys like this and you guys want to see us do this again, but in like two feet of snow, we're in parkas and a lot more challenging because there's less wood there's less food and it's freezing smack that like button down below we want to try and get 50,000 likes on this video pretty much any video in the future smack that bell button hit the subscribe button that ensures you'll always get a brand new Papa Jake video on your YouTube when we upload our new videos so thank you guys so very much this has been Papa Jake and I'll see you guys next time for another awesome video <laughs>